I've been having dreams of like people trying to do things to my face. People like either throwing electronics at my face, trying to like damage my face, and people trying to damage my skin. And I've had dreams of people like doing things on purpose to like cause me to like break out and look a certain type of way. And then it really, it really was brought to my attention that people will really be affected by your appearance and you don't even have to do anything. You, people will just be affected by your appearance and by your glow. But here's what really stood out to me. What really stood out to me is the fact that let me stop here so I can talk to y'all for a second. What really stood out to me is God brought me back to Exodus this morning. How he hardened Pharaoh's heart and Pharaoh went after Moses. And how, you know, even in the midst of that, Pharaoh was used in order to push Moses to his destination, right? Many times we don't even know, but our enemies are being used in order to push us in the exact direction God needs us to go in. Had the enemies not been there, some of us would not be where we are today. Let me give you an example. So because I've been having these dreams of people messing with my skin, messing with my face, and trying to do things to mess with my appearance, th this stuff is real. Like They will do this stuff in witchcraft as well to cause you to overeat to cause you to not eat they'll do certain things because all they have to do is put your information and put whatever they need and lock it up somewhere and they will remember when they summon up these types of spirits they can give certain requests to these spirits right and these spirits will come they'll monitor you and then go back and tell them what it is you eat what you do and so that way they know where you order your food from. They know like what types of foods you eat. They know certain things about you. And that's how they get the information because of these monitoring spirits that go back and tell them things, right? So God will use the enemies to push us where we need to be. Had I not gone through a lot of the warfare that I have gone through, I would not be here today to educate you guys on it. I don't even know where I would be. I would I don't even know what my path would be like. But I had to really sit there and be like, "Okay, God, you're absolutely incredible and you're a genius because, you know, had I not gone through a lot of what I went through, I wouldn't be able to teach on it. I wouldn't be able to shed light on it. You see what I'm saying? I wouldn't be able to connect the dots to help people connect the dots. You see what I'm saying? Because when I went through specific events, I remember God telling me to pay close attention to every single thing and to document every single thing. And I did, right? Many people, they're so caught up in what's happening in the moment because it's so scary they forget to like analyze everything and observe everything in order to have it documented and you know that's a whole another conversation which I'm going to go into next time but I just want to say even like with the whole um with the whole you know um one of the one of the the counterfeits was was tormenting me in 2017 and I just so happened to make a YouTube channel around the time she was tormenting me because I got tired of the torment. I'm like, I got to shed some light on this, you know? I'm like, I got to shed some light on it. But look how that torment led me to create my channel in the first place. Even heartbreak, going through heartbreak around that time also led me to create my YouTube channel because I'm like, I want to, I don't want anyone to feel what I'm feeling right now. I want to heal people who are going through what I'm going through right now. One thing about me is I'm like, I have this mothering nurturing type of personality i'm the kind of person i like to really i have good ask people that know me i have good hospitality when it comes to like taking care of people making sure they're comfortable that's just how, how i've always been and that's what actually led me into being a people pleaser but you know when i went through certain things at that time i said to myself i want to create a channel to where i can uplift people help people i don't i want to make sure no one goes through heartbreak like i'm going through heartbreak i want to make sure no one ever actually has to experience this type of stuff like that type of stuff pushed me to create my channel right on top of that um going through the warfare and and them attacking my skin in the past 
and attacking my hair in the past, <laughs> that is what really motivated me when God gave me the prophecy about me making a skincare line and a hair care line. That's what gave me the motivation was the fact that I'm like, God, I know how it feels to get attacked when your hair is attacked, when your skin is attacked. I understand all that. I need to help people who are going through the same thing. I got to figure out a formula that can help people. You know what I mean? And God was blessing me with ingredients. Like he was showing me things in my vision. But I just say this to say like, every time your enemies come through and attack you or torment you they're actually pushing you to where you need to be look how pharaoh pushed moses to where he needed to be look how pharaoh pushed moses to where he needed to be to where he was able to use the staff and and you know bring the israelites with them your enemies will actually push you to where you need to be you see what i'm saying and that's the thing so you have to understand that no matter what you're going through in this moment utilize every experience utilize it and and gain wisdom and knowledge from it and don't let it be a thing that keeps you stuck instead be like okay how can i utilize this pain in order to help others how can i turn it into i could turn it into a book i can turn it into art i could turn it into music i could turn it into poetry you know or i can be i can go be a, a counselor or i can be a therapist because i went through certain things or you know what because i went in a psychiatric ward growing up and no one believed that I was going through warfare maybe I should work in the psychiatric world so I can be an, an a help to those who in need who I actually understand do you guys know how many doctors and nurses that book coaching sessions with me and I talk to them and a lot of them understand this stuff is real but it's almost like they have to kind of like keep a low key do you get what I'm saying it's like the enemies will push you in the direction where God needs it to be. So I just want to say, get up, get it together, get moving and understand that everything you're experiencing right now, it has a connection to your prophecy. There's a connector. There's a reason for it. And just trust God. That's why God's to lead on your own understanding because trust me, he knows what he's doing. Okay. I just want to share that with you guys. I love you guys. Bye.